All right, Shalom. Bracket the Yahweh. Bracket the Yahushai. Bracket the Yahweh. Bracket the Yahushai. Bracket the Yahweh. Bracket the Yahushai. Kahalayim Yahweh. Bahashim. Yahushai. Bahashim. Rakakwadash. Giving double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS for teaching us his knowledge. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the hopeful like I came out there. Throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Shalom. This is the brother Ara from the Columbus camp. <clears throat> Just coming back with an exhortation video. Um, through the spirit and power, y'all by Shemal Shah, Lord willing, this edifying. Little quick uh, video, straight to the point. Uh, because hey, it's a blessing for Yahweh by Shemal Shah to allow you to hear these words. And to chastise you, and, you know, you take it. You know, which the Lord says he, he chastised those he love. But I'm going to start off in that Revelation chapter 3, verse 19. It says, as many as I, I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous thereof and repent. And repent for the kingdom is, is at hand, man. You know, and that's <clears throat> all Yahweh Shah was doing when he was on the scene, man. He was um, warning Jake, um, telling Jake that they the Israelites, a hey, repent, come back and serve your power. You know, and, and the kingdom is at hand, man. Hey, 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 he'll heal people and say, um, he'll heal Israelites and, and tell them to go and sin no more of their infirmities or you know, of their sicknesses, even raise the dead, even heal, um, open, uh, open the eyes of the blind and, and did many, 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 many miracles when he was on the scene, man, which is a, a beautiful thing, man, you know, and those who believed on him, they, they were sealed, they were sealed over 2000 years ago and they back in this day and time to get that reward. So if you hear this word and you believe on it, hey, that mean that you very well could be a part of the elect. If you hear this word and and you come into this truth and you're taking this um chasten that the Most High put upon us, which um when you come into the truth, you may lose um different things, man. You may go through things, which it tell us in Sirach, um chapter two, you know. I'm gonna grab that. I'm going to come back to, to that. Uh, I'm going to grab that Sirach. Chapter 2, man. Because the Lord um, chastened us in this thing. Scriptures say, Think it not strange the fiery trials. It is to try you, although some strange thing happened unto you. This is Ecclesiastica, better known as Sirach. Chapter 2, verse 1. It says, My son, if thou comes to serve the Lord... Prepare thy soul for temptation. And this constantly, brothers, um, coming into the truth, um, sisters um, that come into the truth. Hey, the one third, you have the one third that's that's coming along with the 144,000 of the elect men of Israel that the Lord is waking up in these last days, which we're in the last days right now, man. You know, 2024. You know, so when you hear this word and come back to the Lord, prepare your soul for temptation, <laughs> which the Lord is going to um, put hell upon you. I just got it. Um, Right here in that Revelation chapter 3, verse 19, it says, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten, be zealous, therefore, and repent. Scriptures say, turn back, O backsliding children, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you. Hey, the Lord is um, warning us to, to repent F from our wicked ways, from our sins, F from our transgressions. Why? Because a hey, Yahweh Shai, the son of man, he's about to make his return back here, man. And it's, it's going to be ugly, man. We, we're entering into some very... Um, terrifying times and um i was watching a brother video um and the brother was speaking about how the the um the um immigrants 
you know, the, the different immigrants is coming over here. And a lot of the immigrants got released from jail, man. And they coming over here. And it's it's just about to be um all hell about to break loose soon, man. So it's better to, to, to come back to the Lord and get this chastened out. Especially you true and sincere brothers out there. You true and sincere believers you know, that's been wicked your whole life and you hear this truth and you want to do right by the Lord to the best of your abilities, man. You know, the Lord say, um, push not off from day to day. Especially when Yahweh Bashim al is is um in the midst of us right about now, which it tells you that in Isaiah um chapter fifty five, starting at six. Say, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. The Lord is in the midst of us right now, raising up his prophets, his men that's out there on the highways and byways. The Lord is um knocking at the door, man. Which is gonna um go into um back in that revelation. Let me um finish this off in Sirach chapter two, verse one. It says, My son, if thou comes to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Right, we're gonna be tempted when we come to serve the Lord, man. But is that that gonna have you just leave the Lord outside, knowing that you're gonna go through different trials and tribulations, knowing that you may lose your family, you know, your mother, your your children, your woman, your job. <laughs> hey, the Lord say, um, he that loveth his mother or his brother and a you know sister brother more than me is not worthy of me. Roughly paraphrasing the scripture, man. You can't love um this world, this this worldly stuff more than you love the Lord, man, because and the Lord gave you everything you got. Hey, the scriptures say, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loveth the world, the love of the Father is not in him, man. So we can't put our all our trust, our hope, our everything into this world in a place that's about to be obsolete, man. We got to put our trust, our hope, and how about Shemel Shah, no matter what type no ty what type of chassa he put us through, man. He put his only begotten son and, uh, through great chassa, man. It say it, it, it pleased um, the Lord to bruise him, man. You know? So, so hey, how much more for us when the, the scriptures say the servant is not greater than his Lord, man? You know? That's why we got to believe on Yahweh by Shemel Shah. We got to um, meditate on these different accounts of, of men of old, especially Job. <laughs> well, especially Yahweh Shah. He was the ultimate example. But you have Job, which was a great example, man. Job was a, um, you know, many men uh, throughout the scriptures that trusted in the Lord and went through the different chastisement that the Most High put them through, but they endured, man. You know, because it say, it, it say right here, as many as I love, I it say, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. And that's right, man. Be zealous thereof and repent. It says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear from my voice which the elect, the 144,000, the one-third that consists of women, children, and multiple believers, they're going to hear the Lord's vo um, voice, man. They're going to hear the Lord knocking at that door. And they're going to open the door so the Lord can come in and sup with them, man, and, and put in their spirit what they're supposed to be doing as the Israelites um, on the earth right now. You know, the Lord is going to put in their spirit what they're supposed to be doing to prepare us for the coming of the Son of Man. To prepare us for the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shah, man. Because it's, it's, it's about to be, um, hey, it's about to be real, real out here, man. <laughs> Ultimately, when, when Yahweh Shah crack them, them, them clouds and make his grand return back here, man, people ain't. Hey, people ain't going to be um having them smart-ass looks, them smart-ass attitudes, um, you know, um, their, their warped mind frame, thinking what they, 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 they're doing is right. You know, it, it, the scriptures say, um, every, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess hey, that Yahweh Shemal Shah is Lord, man. 
You know, everybody's going to bow down to, to the ways of Yahweh Bashem al the Lord um, created it to be, man, which is going to be a beautiful, a beautiful, um, glorious thing, man. It's going to be um, truly amazing because everything is going to be right. And everybody is going to be, um, all of Israel is going to be um, righteous. You know, these heathens, they're going to they're gonna follow us, man. And we're not going to, you know how the world is today, we're not going to deal with sodomites and all eating abominable foods and all the matter of wickedness that go on today. Making genetically modified meat, genetically modified animals, you know, just all the wickedness that Esau do today, we're not going to do that, man. Artificial, genetically modified people, you know, all type of wickedness, man, you know. <clears throat> a lot not to get off subject it says behold i stand this is revelation chapter 3 verse 20 behold i stand at the door and knock if any man hear my voice and open the door i will come in to him and he will sup with him and he will and he with me <laughs> it says it says to him that overcometh will I will I grant to sit with me in a throne even as I also overcame with Yahweh Shah. Like I said, he went through hell, man. But he believed in his father and he was about his father's business, Yahweh Shah Yahweh. It says, uh, which we got to be about Yahweh Shah's business, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah's business, man. You know, which is um, what Yahweh Shah told Peter, uh, loveth thou me, feed my sheep. And he told him that three times, man. <coughs> he, he, he constantly told him that, man. And so we got to constantly feed the sheep of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. With the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that Yahweh Bashem al Shai has given us, man, to boost um, their faith through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem al Shai, because none of none of this work, none of this is is of us. It's all of Yahweh Bashem al Shai, which he put the spirit in us to do these videos, to go out to camp, to. You know, do everything we doing in this truth, cause the Lord is 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 using us as um vessels, you know, cause you know we came back, we believe in Him, which is a beautiful thing. It says, and He with me. It says to Him that overcome, will I will I grant to sit with me in my throne. Even as I also overcame, and I am sit down with my father in his throne. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. <coughs> hey, that's, a, um, that's a beautiful thing, man. We trying to overcome this flesh. Overcome all the wickedness <clears throat> that go on here. That's why it's important when you hear this word, you learn the true names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, and you follow the Lamb whatsoever He goeth, man. You follow the spirit of this truth, man. You follow Yahweh Bashem al Shah. You know, because this is wisdom. Scriptures say wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thine times, the bad times that's coming. You know, the, the MOTB being mandatory, that chip being mandatory, um, all hell breaking loose. Hey, the scriptures say, um, the scriptures say, um, this is, um, John chapter 7 verse 38, it says, he that believeth on me. As the scriptures have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So if you believe on Yahweh Shemal Shai 
and you're never going to thirst again, man, because you're going to have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that allows you to maneuver in this world and be protected, man. Be protected from all manners of, of things that's out here um, trying to bring you down, trying to suck you in um, this wicked society, man. It's a lot of uh, wickedness out here, a lot of um, vile and, and disgusting spirits. And if you ain't right, if you ain't doing according to the will of your how about your mouth shy, you can be subject to any of that. And then, then you're sinning. Then you're subject to death. Because sin brings forth death. Sin is um, the, tra- the, the transgression of the law. <clears throat> you know? Which brings forth death, man. So we want to do what's pleasing unto Yahweh by Shemel Shai. You hear this word, come back to the Lord, man. Repent. Scripture say, turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you. We want Yahweh by Shemel Shai to protect us from the times that's ahead, man. And if we ain't came back to the Lord and doing as commanded, hey, we'll get caught up in all that, you know? In these terrifying times that's so fastly approaching, man. You know, so hey brothers, just just hey, you you true and sincere believers out there, you hear this word, man. You come back to the Lord and you do as commanded, man. You do as commanded, you fear the the most high. You stop eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, you stop committing adultery, you stop worshiping idols and false gods, man. And come back to the Lord, man, before it's too late. Scripture says, Seek ye thine creator in the days of thine youth, while the evil days come not. We ain't in the, the, the super evil days right now. You still can go to your refrigerator and get food whenever you want. You still can go to the grocery store and, and get taco meat or a nice juicy steak. You know, whatever your heart's desire, man. Hey, the times is coming where you ain't going to be able to do that. The time of Jacob's trouble. All hell breaking loose, man. As I tell you in uh, Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 7. At last, for that day is great so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. It's <coughs> a lot. <coughs> Jacob's trouble, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, these different plagues that's coming, the famine, a lack of food, a lack of water, you know, um, um, the missiles, martial law, concentration camps, beheading, the implementation of that chip being mandatory under the penalties of death. But you can escape all of these things by coming back to the Lord and trusting in him, man, because the Lord will save you, man. If you believe in him, because we got we got to go through these things. We're gonna some of us is gonna be in concentration camps. Some of us gonna be um in in desolate places without food, without water. But is we gonna is is is, is we gonna trust in the Lord or is we we gonna trust in Esau? <clears throat> Scripture say, "Warn to you that go down to Egypt for help," and it all starts now, man. Coming back to the Lord, serving the Lord. See, everybody is under, in the trick bag, under illusion, thinking that, you know, everything gonna be like how it is forever. But we saw that doing the hocus pocus in in twenty nineteen. That shit can change at an instant, man. And people are still out here doing wickedness, man. And they seen that shit can change at an instant. Shit can lock down at an instant. Hey, that's why the scriptures say um, in Romans, it's high time to wake out of sleep. For now is salvation nearer than when we believe. So, you know, Lord willing, I hope this is edifying to the elect. I ain't want to make it too long, man. Hey, the Lord knocking at the door. You hear this truth. You hear this word. You learn the true names of the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father. Bahashem means in the name of Yahweh Shai, 
and Yahweh Shai is the only begotten son, our Lord and Savior, who came down here and died for our sins, man. Whereby, if you believe on Yahweh Shai, <coughs> you will you'll be saved, man. Because those that believe on Yahweh Shai, they will be saved, man. Because the elect is going to believe on him. Lord willing, we, we are part of that. You know, and you true and sincere brothers and sisters out there, man. So we just got to stay strong, keep believing, keep the faith, and don't doubt, man. No matter whatever we go through, man. Because we know that we've been wicked in our lives. And we don't know what the hell we did in our past lives. You know, and we know what we did in these lives. And we done did some wicked ass shit. So we just got to continue to repent. Um, try and repent daily. Believe on your how about Shemel Shai. Ask the Lord for mercy daily. Try to anyway. <coughs> but Lord willing, I hope this video was edifying to the elect. With that, I want to give all praise and honor and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Giving double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS for teaching us his knowledge. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.